Hello, this is Star, and today I want to talk to you about the energies you create. Now, you might understand that every day certain actions of yours create energies, and energies respond to these actions, and they multiply, and they bring back to you many energies that are the same. Let's talk about a few things that we're not aware of. The first thing I want to talk about is your thoughts. Every thought that you create creates an energy that goes out there and gathers more energies and brings it back to you. So if you think bills 52 times today, that's what you Oh, hi, back we are here and having a few technical difficulties. So the energy you put out, the most energy you put out at the end of the day comes back to you. So we decided that if we worry about our bills, think about our bills, complain about our bills, that tomorrow we need to challenge ourselves and keep a budget of what we think about. We need to think about, number one, things we want and desire. Number two, the action steps that we want to take to gain these things. And number three, the follow through. What else needs to be taken care of? Not only do your thoughts create energy, but your words create energy. And your words are sounds lower in vibration on the spectrum of sound than your thoughts. Your words vibrate. So the word bill vibrates. Oh my God, another bill I have to pay. And then the word joy. Smile, happiness. You can feel the energy rising. You can see your energy rising if you pay attention to your energy with your words. So choose your words wisely. Choose your words wisely. Are you going to have your vocabulary filled with a thousand things you don't want? Well, I don't want this. I don't want that. I don't want this. I don't want that. Is that what you're going to put out into reality, into the world to gather more energy and come back to you? All the choices you don't want. Oh, and wait, some more things you don't want. Or are you going to speak? I am working towards getting, being. I am becoming. I have blank in my future. Your budget of your words is just as important as your budget of your thoughts. So thoughts create your reality. Words create your reality. Now we have all this reality created. We need to be able to manifest that reality. So manifestation is done by action things that happen on the material and the physical plane. When somebody says to me, star, I'm working on blank, whatever it is they're working on, it's my issue. And I say to them, tell me, how have you been working on it? Are you going to group? Are you working a workbook? Are you journaling? Are you reading? Are you in counseling? Tell me what physical plane thing that you are spending time and energy on to work on whatever self issue that you have. Some people come to me and they realize that all they've been doing is telling themselves, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Yet very little progress has been made for years because just saying that you're working on it isn't enough to work on it. You must spend time and you must spend energy on whatever it is that you want to manifest, 
you want to materialize in your world to create it. So take a deep breath. Your heart beating creates energy. Your lungs breathing create energy. Your blood circulating creates energy. Your mood creates energy. So I'm going to ask you, why would you want to spend the day angry, sad, gloomy, creating that energy and multiplying it, making it bigger and bigger? So, hey, come on, a little bit more sadness come to me. Hey, come on, a little bit more anger come to me. So we all talk about manifestation and materialization. We talk about being spiritual. And when you are spiritual, you must be conscious of the material plane. You must know how to manifest. You must understand some of the rules of manifestation. The first rule is number one, you need to think it. I'm going to have be, et cetera, et cetera. And you think this thought and that thought goes out there and it collects like thoughts and brings it back to you. Then you have a picture of it in your head. Now, through the decades, I've seen many, many a book on visualization. And the thing that I learned that works the best for me for visualization is to visualize the maintenance. So, hey, I have a brand new car. So I have this new car and I don't visualize me driving down the street and waving and you know, look, Star's got a new car. What I visualize is me paying, writing the check for that car, me putting gas in the car, me getting the car's oil checked. Yeah, well, just having somebody else check the, take the car to get it checked. But maintaining, putting the money in the bank to be able to pay for the car. So first we have a thought, then we have a vision. We not only have the nice parts of the vision, hi, see me in my new car, we have the maintenance parts of the vision. And this is very important because many of us have been erroneously taught about visualization. You must visualize what you need to maintain it, to create it, you must visualize the, the care of it, the gratitude that you have, that you finally have it. So after you think it and visualize it, you must speak it. And in speaking, we have two big sand traps we fall into. The first one is I am willing. I'm willing to have a new car. You can be willing for four or five lifetimes in a row. Willing is just that your will is active. It has very little to do with manifestation. The second trap that we can fall into is the maybe. Well, maybe I'll manifest a Ford. Maybe I'll manifest a Volkswagen. Maybe I'll manifest to Mercedes. The sand trap is leaving so many options that we can't focus our energy on that one option we want. If you go for a new car, if that's what you need and you don't care, that's fine. But if you're just willing or you want a baby pink Volkswagen Jetta from 1999, know that that is harder to manifest. So choose your words wisely. We all are willing. We're all willing to receive. We all can. Get a date in there. Get a date in there. So tell that. And when you share it with your friends, they resonate with Star wants a new car. So they're resonating. They shake their head yes. And one and one is three in the spiritual world. You tell three people, that's like nine people focusing on it. So we do this when we want to quit smoking. 
when we want to shape shift and change our weight. We do these things and tell people this because the more sound vibration is behind it, the quicker and easier it manifests. So then we need to do the most important part. You cannot just think about something. You cannot just visualize it. You can just not tell it to your friends. That is only three quarters of the manifestation. To materialize, put it in the physical plane, manifest it. Yes, I can meditate. And I can do that over and over again. But what about knowing that a car costs cash? What about developing a plan where I get two extra clients a, a week or one extra client every other day? What do I need to physically do? Spend time, spend energy to manifest something in my life. And we need to understand that if these four things are not in, in gear, that you're still trying. And when we look at the word try, I tried to call you yesterday. Try does not work in the past. Try will not work in the future. I'll try to have lunch with you. So be aware that many times we're in the illusion of manifesting because we thought it, we told our friends, we saw the pictures, but we have not done anything on the physical material plane. Really, yes, angels and spirit guides are wonderful and they help us with a lot of things. And yes, they may connect you to a client. They may connect you to new friends, to your new mate. But personally, most of my life, I find that when I work, my spirit guides work with me. When I take physical plane steps, they take steps. So the, the gears that are there, the last important gear is doing something on the physical plane. You know, there will be many, many, many secrets to manifestation and you might want to empty yourself. You might want to start when you were a child. Everything I wanted that I didn't get, oh, I wanted a bicycle. I didn't get that. I let that go. I wanted this and I wanted that red dress and I wanted this. And you let that go. Make a list of all the things you ever wanted and let them go. And I'm a little picky about the word release here. If I have an apartment and I release it, I still have the apartment. I choose in my spiritual practice to use the word let go because release is a loophole word and I may or may not let go of it by using the word release. So we empty ourselves. You know, if you need to take a piece of paper, write it all down, then burn the paper, tear the paper into bits, let it go in the wind. Make space inside yourself to manifest. What about outside of yourself? Do you really have place for that new car? Do you have the space to buy gas? Do you have the space to take care of it, get it washed? Do you, do you really have space in your house for one more statue, for one more whatever it is? Sometimes we don't. So as we work on manifestation and we're saying, I want this, I want this, I want all the books that I need to read, know about. Well, wait, I've got 800 books. Well, what am I going to do? I'm going to look at my books and I'm going to find 50 or 60. I recently gave a bunch of books away to the local jail so that people there could read those books. And of course, guess what happened? I got more books that I want to read and more books. So you must create space inside of yourself and you must have a place to put it. Now, I find that sometimes things are not in agreement. So let's talk about that. So if 
you've ever been a hundred thousand air and I mean that you've had a hundred thousand dollars it is easier for you to become a half millionaire and then a millionaire if you have fifty thousand dollars in the bank and you're praying to be a millionaire mm, that might not be an agreement so what I'd like for you to do is work on a hundred thousand get that hundred thousand then get that half a million and then work on that million so when things aren't in agreement when what you want is way above 10 15 percent more than you have do it gradually do it gradually and i don't want to break any bubbles today but i just want to tell you this yes you're going to win the lottery and yes it's going to be for three dollars or one dollar and yes you have the potential to have everything you want potential doesn't count till it becomes action steps and action steps will manifest that look at oh, i hate to go back to edison again but 999 failures before he got his light bulb and when you use your your subtle bodies and your chakras to create something and even though you don't create it and you use the rules to create it and know about manifesting every time you do that that becomes a better machine it becomes a better spiritual mechanic and then sooner or later you learn how to manifest these things by paying attention to your thoughts, to your words, to your actions, then see it, don't think it, visualize it, say it, and take action steps. Pay attention. Pay attention to what you're manifesting, the words you are using, and what you are choosing that is in agreement with you. Is it in agreement with you and your life? So that's a real important step. This is Star thanking you for participating in my reality, and in my life and my teachings. My website is www.starfuentes.com and I've got lots of wonderful products for sale for you to participate. Thank you and have a nice life.